been our spring um, into autumn. Brown skates are a very common fish, especially on our beaches. I'm going to show you how to make the trace that I use, and it's a very successful trace. And one of the best baits we can possibly use for them is a bay squid. I'm going to show you how to prepare a bay squid and how we use it. Okay, to start off with, we need our trusty old chocker hammer, our size 5 and 6 combination swivel, which is basically that over there, low density foam, a sharp knife, and it must be sharp, sinker with a sinker clip. You don't need to use a sinker clip, you can throw it, but I'm going to show you how to clip it and throw. Some 19 kilo kingfisher nylon. It's a very soft, supple nylon, and there's a reason behind it, and I'll show you that as I'm going through my bait presentation. Some thin latex cotton. The thinner, the better. And our 6-0 six, uh, ringed sui hooks. So let's start off. There's our 6 hook, preferably silver in color or a whitish colored hook, but that hook is brilliant for it. The reason we use silver is the bait is going to be whitish, pinkish, but more white than anything else. So we're going to give ourselves about 50 centimeters of nylon snooting. And I'm going to work through this pretty fast. Again, it's just a figure of eight as far as the tying of the knot goes. Lubricate, slide down, pull tight. Tag end off. Making that about 40. There's a the tie on the sinker trace so everything's done. Making it slightly longer for it. quickly measure. I don't want it to be longer than that, so I'm cutting there. Just onto my sinker clip because it's going to be easier to do. Like I said, you don't have to use a sinker clip to throw far with this bait. I'm just going to hook my sinker on. Just keeps it out of my way. Okay. And this is a very old base squid, guys. They don't look as bad as this, believe me. But this has been in and out of my bait box about six or seven times. So there's the base squid. Very small, very subtle little bait. Okay. Low density foam. And you don't use much of it. When you do it, you put your foam on. The end of the foam must end in front of the point of the actual hook. It just makes for a better hook set. So what we're going to do is just quickly do this. And we're going to use a lot of foam. Uh, a lot of uh, latex cotton. What we're trying to do is actually push all the air out of the, the foam so that the foam does not float. It needs to sit on the bottom, on the sand. So we're just using a lot of cotton here just to squeeze out as much of that air as possible. The foam's there just as a base 
for the bait squid to actually hold on to, especially if you're going to clip the bait. If you're not going to clip it, it's not as important. Let's carry on going. We're just going to finish it off quickly. Okay. You look for the top of the base grid. The ridge that runs along that side, it's got a sheath in it. So we're just going to cut down until we get to where the sheath is, which is just below the skin. We're going to open him up, like so, take his head out, take that sheath part out. And then what I like to do, some guys don't, but I preferably like to take off all of the actual flesh. Get rid of all that pink. Like I say, this is an old base squid. So I'm trying to get rid of as much of that as possible. Okay. Take the very fine side of the chocker hammer inside now we've put it that the flesh faces up and we just lightly hit it just to soften it up it gives the cotton something to bind onto start at the top right hand side corner go down and all we do is we just roll it like a sausage yeah, it looks like a cigar Nothing fancy about that. Our latex cotton. And we lightly wrap it, but we put a lot at the back of the actual tail part. Wrap it up to the top. Take the head. And we put it on top of it like so. And we tie down the actual feelers. Or the tentacles crisscross across the eyes so that the eyes bulge out a bit and we go all the way down to the back of it where the stomach actually is we wrap it quite a bit at the back and that's basically what our base grid would look like before we threw it. And then to clip it, if you wanted to get to that far, far bank, always remember, if you look at the hook, it always goes off at an angle. You always want that angle of the hook to face away from the swivel. You see that part of the point faces away from the swivel. If you do it the opposite way, it sits very close to the actual swivel and to the eye of the clip. And sometimes when you throw it, it could actually penetrate into the actual swivel itself. So remember, it doesn't matter what bait it is that you're throwing. Always, if you're clipping, make sure that you put the hook facing away. Like that. So now it's way further away from the actual um, swivel than what it was before. And that's basically the trace that I would throw if I wanted to throw on a far bank. Now, bearing in mind, when you're fishing for a brown skate, if this was your sandbank in front of you, and I'm standing on the beach, if the tide is basically coming in, the brown skates will be feeding along this side of the actual bank. So the wave will lift up, and just before it breaks, over here, is where you'd want to throw. If the tide is going out, you want to throw on the back side of that bank, because that's where everything's getting sucked off. So you need to throw quite far. So outgoing tide, clip your bait, throw it as far as you can to get over that actual bank. When the tide's coming in, you don't have to clip it, and you can throw it nicely on the inside. Not clipping it gives you 100% chance that it doesn't hook onto the swivel or the actual clip does not come undone. So when it's an incoming tide, basically just remember that you need to throw closer. Okay, when it's an outgoing tide, throw far, clip your bait, and throw as far as you can on the back of a bank. And you're always looking for that rolling soft water. I always call it that soft water. It's a wave that's not going kaboof. It's a wave that's rolling, and it's not breaking as such. It's rolling nicely. It can be a small little bank, or it can be a big long bank. It doesn't make a difference. As long as it's 
soft water that's coming over it. Okay guys, good luck with that bait.